Hey everyone, um, so I have some updates. I know I told you guys that I got the next plan out, um, and that went well and everything, and I'm still doing okay from that procedure, um, but I recently went to Planned Parenthood and got a gynecological exam, and it was, it was just fucking wild, so I'm gonna tell you about it. So, during this exam, it was a doctor that I trust and that I've seen before. So I was, you know, really, I made it with her on purpose because I knew that I trusted her and that she would tell me what was going on and be very open and honest with me. And she's very trans affirming. So, I mean, my Planned Parenthood is very trans affirming anyway. Like they were, they've never given me a hard time. Um, but with, I made it with this specific doctor because I've had an exam with her before. She knows my trauma history and it was just going to be easier. So she, you know, is looking and she goes, oh, you have a pink discharge. Like, you're bleeding. And I was like, hello? Hello? But just been two weeks since my last period. Two weeks. Oh, sorry, trigger warning. Um, period talks. In the video. Like, a lot. I'll put it in the description. It's okay. Um, but yeah, two weeks, not even, since my last period. So I was like... There better be some infection or something going on down here. I was like, please, girl, take a swab. So she takes a swab and, like, puts it on a slide and goes and, like, you know, after the exam is done and everything. And, like, looks at it under the microscope. And she's like, well, there's no sign of infection. It's just blood and, like, normal vaginal discharge. And she was like, I don't know what that means. She goes, you may just have, like, an internal injury that I couldn't see. You know, from, like, sexual activity or whatever. Um, which, like, was unlikely considering my situation right now. But, like, that's fine. Um, but... It was just, like, a lot. And so, later that night, I did indeed get my period. So, I have it now. And I am pissed. Like, beyond belief. It's been about a week and a half since my last period. And I have another one now. Um, so that's just really frustrating and irritating and so many other words. Um, but they... Another issue that I've been experiencing is, like, lack of clitoral function. Um, oh, I'm also talking about sex in this video, so sorry guys. If any of this, like, is too much, just please click away, because I'm a lot. Um, lack of, like, clitoral function, and, like, pleasure during sex or masturbation. And, basically, they were like, we don't know why that's happening to you. And, like, they examined me, and they said everything looks, like, physically fine. She, like, touched it, and I, like, felt, like, a sensation, but it wasn't, like, it was very dull. And, like, normally I would, like, you know, jump. And it's, yeah, it was just very, very irregular. Um, and so today I went, and this was two, like two days ago. And so today I went to go see the doctor who prescribed me my testosterone. And I saw her, and she, I, it's the first time I ever met her. Um, because I was seeing a different doctor at the same practice. Um, but he left the practice, so this was my first appointment with her. She, like, runs the whole clinic. She's great. Um, Dr. Demidant. Um, at Anchor Health Initiative in Stanford, Connecticut. Um, if anybody needs an LGBT clinic to go to, because I know, like, my two followers on here are from Connecticut. Um, y'all are great. I love you. Um, she basically told me that she is not sure why anything is happening. She said, I absolutely should not be having a period three years on testosterone. Um, she said that because I've tried the Arimidex, I've tried the Lupron, I did the IUD, I did the Nexplanon, I've done the testosterone, um, and those are all of the medical options other than surgery. So she's recommending I get a hysterectomy. So I have a referral to a surgeon, um, a different surgeon than the one Planned Parenthood gave me. I'm gonna go with this one, um, because it's closer to my house, it's in Middletown, um, I'm not gonna say where I live. I don't know if I've said where I live before. I don't know. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I live, like, in the Bridgeport area. Um, and th this is in Middletown. The other is in South Windsor. So, I mean, I trust both places to give me good referrals, but this one I'm just gonna go with because it's through my GP. She's the one that's, like, you know, making the final calls. Um, excuse me. Um, sorry. Um, and she was just very, like, if you don't want a period, you need to have surgery. So, I'm a little frustrated about that because I didn't plan on having a hysterectomy at 20 years old. I planned on having one further down the road, like, maybe once I was five years on T, you know, like, when they recommend it so you don't get cancer and shit. 
um, or after bottom surgery was my other thing. Because I really wanted to work through some of my, like, sexual trauma associated with, like, surgeries and whatnot. And being, like, you know, asleep and people touching me. Because that was a really big issue after top surgery that I didn't anticipate. Um, but yeah, so it looks like I'm going to be having a hysterectomy, hopefully this summer. Um, but that means, like, right now I need to get, like, the ball rolling. Um, uh, if not next summer, because the recovery period is six to eight weeks on that. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. I have another phone call scheduled with Planned Parenthood tomorrow to just update them on what my GP said today. Um, I will keep you guys updated. I know I haven't been updating as much as I have, as I promised. I can speak. Um, it's just my life has been crazy. I have finals and taking incompletes in classes since I was hospitalized. And things are just kind of insane right now. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry this video quality is absolute shit. Um, the video content is shit, my life is shit, um, I'm sorry, uh, I love you guys, if you have any questions or comments, or if any of you have had this procedure done before, um, a hysterectomy, um, please, please, please reach out to me on Instagram, it's hey, it's Chewbacca with underscores, um, before and after each word, um, or on Tumblr at Satan's Personal 666 or, um, on, in the comments here. Um, so thank you guys so much. I love you all and have a great day.